Welcome to No Budget. I'm Milo Dennison, and today I am talking with filmmaker John McClafferty. He is a Irish-born filmmaker currently residing in Spain, and he made a fantastic short film called Sniper that we are going to talk yeah. about here in just a minute. Okay. Um, but first, let's get into yourself yeah. a little bit, John. Yeah. Yes. So Welcome to the show, by the way. Thank Welcome you very to the show. Much. Thanks for having me. This hey, no problem. Really, really, mm -hmm. really good setup you have here. Thanks. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. So, what got you into filmmaking? Like, uh, uh, yes. let's let's um, let's start back there. Let's right, go, okay. let's go way back. Yeah, I guess uh, it's it's you know I guess being an actor. You know, you have, you know, it's kind of next step like directing and filmmaking is, okay. you know. So, so I you mean, started off as an actor. I started off an as an actor. So I used to live in London, lived there for five years, okay. and which is, you know, great uh, theater and you know filmmaking mm -hmm. um, world there. So I guess from there I, you know, from there I, you know, went to Spain and then and but I guess not Ireland. No, 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 <laughs> no. I mean. You know, I think uh, there's more kind of work and more opportunities away from Ireland than yeah. there are in Ireland. Probably especially for an Irish actor, because if they're mm. looking for somebody with an accent or that type of stuff, mm. you have a more, nat you know, easier for you to do a natural accent. Oh, yeah, you for know, sure. That's whereas it. here in Ireland, mm. like, you know, it's easy to find somebody with an Irish accent and yeah. red hair and like that That's kind of it. stuff, you know? Mm. Yeah, I think like, <laughs> you know, being an actor, accents are so important. They mm -hmm. really are. And for Irish people, uh, you have to you know, do a variety of accents mm -hmm. to, you know, to get work yeah. uh, as an actor. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so as an actor, mm -hmm. uh, do you have a preference, stage or film? I'd say stage, definitely, oh, because good. it's, um, that's, you know, it's live. You're there and it's, it's a lot more work, mm -hmm. you know, you have to do a lot more work, learn your lines and, you know, really getting into your character. But yeah, you, you can't yeah. mess up. If you mess up, no. you got to go with it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know? I, yeah, I totally agree. I get annoyed sometimes when I ask people, actors that question, and they're like, "I prefer acting for camera," and I just, yeah. I, I want to backhand them. Yeah, yeah it's mm -hmm. exactly. You know, well, there's more kind of money in film, film, of mm -hmm. course. Like, so that's you know, they're the kind of, you know, yeah, there's more money in there. But um, and you do a decent amount of acting in Spain, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, like. I would do a lot more there than I would here. Okay. That's so that's why that's keep, keep me there. Like so, I would definitely go for what one type of uh, work do you do? Film or uh, yeah. commercials? Yeah. So that would be mostly. Um, I'll go for at least one uh, casting per week. So mm -hmm. a lot of them would be um, commercials, okay. which is fine. Um, Spaniards love their commercials. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been in lots of commercials. Like and you speak. Spanish pretty well then? Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do they ever have you speaking English in the commercials, or is it always Spanish? Uh, it would be mostly English because really? yeah, because most of the brands would be like international. So okay. I did like IKEA ad uh, okay. last year. You know the one with the key, and that was entirely in English. Okay. You know? What about um, some of the uh, movies Spanish. and TV? Uh, yeah. So I did. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, a series a few years ago, mm -hmm. couldn't think of the name of it there, and it was called Steel Star Crossed, and it was kind of action film. Okay. It was a HBO, so that was br like amazing experience. Oh, great! Uh, that was yeah. yeah, that was probably a nice production then, like a that was decent paycheck since it's HBO. Was, it was, it was, it was <laughs> huge. It was, the, it was the biggest kind of job I got. Like, okay. And um, that actor that was, you know that was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, he was in it. Oh, which one? Um, um, oh, uh, the. M uh, Angel, the guy that played no, Angel? No, the uh, David Boreal. Oh, um, what was his name? Giles was his character name. Sorry, right. uh, so not yeah. that I've ever seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The guy with glass. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it's a TV show. Right. <laughs> so um, he was in it. Oh, yeah, he's, he's great. He was did you ever see that movie that he did? It was a musical. Um, it, uh, what's his name? Rupert anyway, Giles, he, he right? was in it, and okay. he was like, he was a bit kind of the biggest. He's great. He's cool. He's really good. He's really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Did you uh, like? Uh, hang yeah, I was. I was with him. I was. I was his bodyguard in the film. Like that was. Okay. That was my part. So did you get to do any action sequences you know, then? Yeah, I did a huge like mm -hmm. kind of action sequence, and like there were cameras everywhere, like up above us and okay. yeah, like around us, and it was it was big, and I, I had to uh, basically the. The, b the scene was me killing his uh, the other guard, so so it was Capulets and Montagues. Okay. So he was on the Montague side, okay. and I was, you know, bodyguarding him, and then 
the Capulets were on the other side, and I had to kind of put a spear into a man. That was the uh -huh. central focus of the okay. of that of that episode, uh -huh. and then I, yeah, I put you know I didn't even meet the guy, and mm. it was uh, I had to put Kill a spear him. into him. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. That's fun and I didn't know he was a uh, stunt either. Okay, so. Uh, is There's that a lot of rehearsal in that. Is know? that on uh, mm. HBO now? Like Go uh, or can yeah, people it watch it? Still start they, yeah. Okay. So uh, cool. Keep an eye out for me, you know. I will. <laughs> I, yeah, that's why I like to ask yeah. if I can make. Mm. Oh, I know that person. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and yeah. not that I've ever seen Buffy, but I'm assuming the guy that's in Buffy is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. He was really sound. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Back to you though. Let's yeah. not talk about other actors. Okay. Let's exactly. talk about you. Mm -hmm. um, so you went from acting. Mm -hmm. Now you're kind of writing, directing your stuff. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I made a, f a short film uh, a couple of years back. It's called Sniper. It's really good. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of like, there was a budget in that. Like, I know this show is called No Budget, yeah. <laughs> but there was a budget in it. Like it well, was No a, Budget yeah. is kind of a broad standard right, okay, by, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. Hollywood standards, No Budget would be like a million dollars, you know, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, it was great experience. So what was the, what was the, what was so the budget? A uh, thousand euro. Okay, mm. nice. And that was shot in multiple locations, right? Yeah, exactly. I, I was in Ireland and I shot that in Ireland okay. uh, on Port Marnock Beach. So that was a great experience. And then uh, I went to... Well, sorry, in Spain, mm -hmm. we shot over there, so it was perfect. Awesome. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna let's throw it to a preview of that film. Yeah, perfect. And then we'll come back and talk about it specifically. Yeah, cool. Okay, so this is Sniper by John McClafferty. <laughs> So that was a preview of Sniper by John McClafferty. We'll throw a link in the show notes so you can check it out if you'd like. Let's get mm -hmm. into the film. So yeah. I want to talk about the film because yeah. you shot it in multiple locations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it's shot in an interesting way because it's done mm -hmm. via basically all voiceover. Was that mm -hmm. intentional like from the beginning or was that kind of more of a necessity due to sound on location, that type of stuff? Um, I guess when you're making your first shorts, you just have to um, look at ways that will be the most effective and cost effective mm -hmm. and easiest in a way, but creative at the same time and just kind of throw that, in, throw that all in together. And so that's why you decided to do it all via voiceover yeah, and stuff? Yeah, kind of. Yep. I guess so. Okay. I mean, like it wasn't like you recorded audio on the day and then we're like, oh, this sounds like mm, crap. Now no. we got to do it all like this. So it was intentional. Exactly. Like I'm not going to have mm -hmm. the budget for sound person. Yeah. So one way I can deal with that is do voiceover and that type of stuff and issues. Exactly. And then you had shots where there were conversation with the two people. And I like the way you right. did that because mm. you basically would cut away so that we're yeah. not actually seeing their mouths moving, but we know that they're having exactly. a phone conversation. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, some people... I guess I guess some you know some people didn't get that. I don't think okay. it was kind of creative. I reckon in a way, mm -hmm. but well, it worked. Yeah. It made sense. Is, is that what people said? They're like, why can't we see them talking? Um, yeah, they were they were saying so. They just had to clarify a few things, you know. This so they said they asked, is that the conversation with them? You mm -hmm. know, but I mean, some of it is kind of obvious, and other parts are kind of gray. Is that intentional? Gray. Um, it's. You know, you wrote like it, right? yeah, I did. and yeah. you wrote it, directed, mm -hmm. and you played yeah. the sniper guy. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and then who played the the other guy, the guy in the car? The uh, there was another guy. Oh yeah, so he's uh, he's an actor that I that I'm friends with uh, Javier in Spain. In Spain yeah, okay. he's I know him from castings and okay. uh, from commercial and castings and from kind of series castings and that's who edited it. Yeah, so uh, Eddie Bellardi, he's a really good uh, photographer and uh, colorist and uh, mm -hmm. editor. He he edits it for me. He's re he was really good. Yeah. yeah. Oh um, yeah, and because we were talking we were talking about this before we started filming because it's very has a very blue tone to it. So yeah. it kind of has that uh, yeah. kind of mm. effect of being uh, dramatic, blue toned. Like, yeah. Was that something that you were like, I wanted to have this look? Or was that um, kind of a, we had to kind yeah. of do this because we shot in multiple locations with different cameras and to um, kind of get it, it was to just, look it was uniform? Just, I guess when, when you're filming something, you just have to leave that to post-production and mm -hmm. just kind of let them decide, I guess, okay. because, you know. 
And so your editor is kind mm. of the one that made that decision on it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he said, I was thinking black and white, you know, because mm -hmm. I like that look, that black and white look. Okay. But he said, no, let's, let's try blue because, you know, blue is kind of fashionable. <laughs> yeah, it is yeah. now. Like, yeah. that's kind of why I was asking that too. It's mm. like you see a lot of films that are shot mm. with that kind of a toning. And, um, mm. But at least you didn't do the mm. shaky camera thing. That everybody doesn't like every oh, right. every film nowadays you watch it's like extreme close-ups yeah. and shaky cam and it yeah. drives me nuts and yeah so it's a pet peeve of well mine we did have that watching. I think you had some but it wasn't yeah. too bad like um, you know there's the scenes where the guys uh, yeah. walking on the boardwalk here in Ireland you actually did some wider shots there and you know like that kind of yeah. stuff so not everyone is an extreme close-up so what inspired you to write the film like where'd the idea come from um, well, I love like some sniper films. I love mm -hmm. that the, the movie Sniper, have you the American Sniper. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that film. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great film. Okay. I mean, I couldn't like. So why'd you yeah. name it Sniper if there's multiple films already called Sniper? I sh I, I could have been a bit more creative <laughs> with that. I say, but uh, yeah, American Sniper it was a great film. There's no way I could have like done something on that scale. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, you made a big budget for that. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know. Kind so of getting it. now that uh, you've got that done, you're gonna make more are you writing now Def definitely yeah so mm -hmm. I, l I love watching documentaries you know mm -hmm. uh, so that's the kind of next uh, gonna start yeah. going into documentaries and that kind of stuff yeah ex exactly that would be the the kind of the next goal great they're great. easier than short films as well y you think so you know what's interesting about documentary i think it's easier mm. to get funding for documentaries than you can for shorts um, okay. I, I don't know if this is true just kind of from research i've done mm -hmm. uh, if you're looking for funding because mm -hmm. i think depending on the subject matter, there's mm. places looking for yeah. documentaries that they can show and that kind of stuff. So right. it okay. seems like uh, there's more funding options for documentaries versus shorts, like everybody making shorts. Mm -hmm. So nobody mm. wants to fund a short. You know, they either yeah. want to fund a feature or they mm -hmm. want to fund a documentary, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I, I reckon that would be the next step, like next, okay. uh, next project, because you know, it's, they're much easier, much easier, I think, for short films. And then mm. still acting, of course. Exactly, yeah, exactly, you know. Great. Yeah, you you know it's documentary, but you're kind of bring your acting in it a, a bit as well. Yeah, you are. So you're gonna be? Are you doing the uh, doc? You want to be like in the documentaries, talking to people? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, um, I can't give too much away. You know. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't want to <laughs> answer too many. Yeah, exactly. In here. Okay, <laughs> documentaries. We'll leave it at that, everybody. <laughs> Just stay tuned. <laughs> okay. For uh, right. one of John's documentaries. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Okay, and then <laughs> any lessons that you learned from making Sniper that yeah, you think definitely. are valuable to share to our audience? Yeah, like I, I'd say, I'd say, you know, take your time with it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's definitely a lot of stuff I could have done better. You know, mm -hmm. um, like what? Like, um, if you had to critique your film, yeah, I, I could have shot more scenes. Like, I could have just like uh, maybe I think we did it in six months. Okay. Um, not full time thing, right? But obviously, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it was definitely it was, yeah six months and. Just like take your time doing it, and just try to get the best quality, the best people you can on your budget. And um, I, sh I should have probably, yeah. If that's a critique, I should have waited a little bit more. That's okay. It. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. To <laughs> get more of what you wanted, like, what do yeah. you feel it's missing? Um, I'd say just another scene, you know, another kind of just to give it a bit more, a little bit more depth, you know. Okay. Hmm. And I get we've talked about hmm. the film. Uh, we should. Yeah. Describe it. So, in okay. one sentence, right? Give me the log line. In one sentence. One sentence. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part for people. Exactly. <laughs> so, so man comes home and he finds his wife in bed with someone else, and he decides to kill him. That's, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if people want to find you, where can they find you? How can they track you down if they want to cast you? Oh, or right. Or get, okay. get in touch in yeah. any way, shape, um, or form. Just you know, call me. <laughs> what, do you want us to post your phone number on the on the? Uh, do you want flash it up here five 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 one two one two? Okay, no, I'm on Instagram and okay, so Facebook. Um, Instagram as as actor John Joseph. Actor J O H N J O S E P H. J O H N yeah. J O S E P H. Yeah, all one word. Actor John Joseph. Actor John Joseph. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there yeah. we go. And, and does that work? That's that any other be, good method you know, to. So if, you know if any. If anybody wants to cast him yeah. in something, exactly. um, you can. If you're looking for hmm. a Irish actor currently residing in Spain, yeah. uh, also speaks s Spanish. Exactly. Well, thank you for thank coming. Thank you very on much, my love. Thank you really very much. Fun, fun chat. Thank you very and, uh, much. Thank I had fun, anyways.
Yeah, um, me too. And uh, yeah, so I did. thanks for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. With that, yeah. hope we got you something out of this, okay. and we'll see you next time. Great.